Hello and uh, welcome to uh, lesson five. In this uh, lesson, we're going to learn about alignment. But before I go ahead and have an alignment, I need the surface to put the alignment on it. Somehow I can't find the file that I, we worked on last time. So just it takes us a couple of minutes to just make a create a surface. Uh, down below the description, there is the uh, CVS file or Excel file, which has all the survey data in it. Uh, download that, and then we're going to go ahead and make a quick surface. Uh, so once you do that, come up here from a home tab, find the points, click the points, and point creation tool. Come back here, click this one. We've done this before, so and then come up, click the plus sign, and we're going to go ahead and uh, we have a right there. This that's what I'm looking for. Open it up, and uh, in the second tab, as you know, we're going to go. It was northern. It was P. There it is, P N E Z D, and then everything is fine here. Click OK. Close this one out and come up here. Hit Zoom Extend. Okay, now we're going to create a surface. Uh, from the Home tab, go back, find the surface, click that surface, and then create surface. And that's going to be ten surface, and we're going to put down here existing top or existing ground, e.g. That's going to be existing ground. Description we're just going to put down right here. Existing G R O U N D. And uh, star, we're going to go with contour to fit. That's fine. Click OK. And now we have done this, we're going to come back to uh, our prospector. And from the prospector, we're going to click on uh, surface hit the plus, hit the EG we just created, and then you're going to come down. Okay, so uh, from definition, find the point group right here, and click right-click on point group, hit add, and then we have uh, all point, and click apply, and click OK. So now we have this surface. Come up here, go up there, and let's save the file so we can we have it from now on and work on it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, create alignment. Alignment is can represent really the center of the roadway, uh, or be a curb return, or be the edge of the travel way, or the shoulder, or it could be path or a walkway, uh, anything like uh, for dams, uh, breakwater. A lot of stuff, and it's really um, it just about uh, alignment and profile are used in every civil engineering project uh, to help the uh, uh, road layout. So it's important. All right. So now you're going to come up here uh, from the uh, home tab, find the alignment, and hit the drop-down menu. And let's go to alignment creation tool. And in this window, we're going to go ahead and just name it. Let's name the alignment. And uh, name it, uh, you put your own name on it. I don't know. I'm going to make a NASA road. I don't know if there's a road like that, but there's one now. And come out to the type. Right here in the type, there are five different type of alignment. There's a center line alignment. There's an offset alignment. There's a curb return. There's a rail and miscellaneous. And here, we're going to use this as a center line. So let's stay with that. You can put a description for yourself in if you want. Then in the next down here it says, uh, how do you want to start? From what station? If you have taken survey, you know, you can start from station zero, and depending if you're going east, north, or southwest, and uh, you, you can name your uh, stations from zero up to uh, whatever it takes. Then in, down below you have two tabs, general and design. Let's go to design criteria. This program is great. It has so much stuff in it. In the design criteria, they got the ASHTO code in here. And the ASHTO code is used just about in every country in the planet of Earth. And someday will be used probably in Mars too. Uh, so now it says, when you gonna do this alignment, obviously you're gonna do it for road, or for a walkway, for a bike pass. So this alignment for what speed limit do you want it? Let's just say for 60 mile an hour, okay? I'm going to click right here, right? it says use uh, uh, criteria based design. 
then they're gonna tell you what they are and make sure this one is clicked down here too and basic is fine and let's go ahead click OK okay should have another window I got them right here now this window comes in right here we want to do some other uh, right here we're gonna click on a, a whether we're gonna draw the tangent or with, without a curve so we're gonna go ahead and have a curve in our roadway we're gonna say select the second one tangent with curve okay and uh, now we're ready I'm going to expand my drawing. I'm going to click from this corner. So I'm going to go ahead and start from here. Click once and then see. Now that's your alignment. I'm going to come up to this corner right here and click it. And then I'm going to take a turn. Gentle turn right here. Not too bad. And then I'm going to take a sharper turn right there on purpose. And let's go take a, another turn right here. And let's finish it up right there click and hit enter and when you look at your alignment let me get rid of this look at the alignment the all station right here uh, we start from the station 0 1 and all the station there and then we're going to have a curve right here and give you the curve data right there okay this is a, a station 25 plus 56 0.94 is center of your curve okay and then they give you a um, all the information that is required but let's look at this one right here we put a curve here and we put a big uh, qu you know uh, there's an issue here and if you hover over this it should give you the information okay right there it says minimum radius violated okay you said you're gonna design this roadway for 60 mile an hour but if you want to go drive 60 mile an hour, you're really, your minimum radius should be 1,500 feet, not 264. So the program is pretty smart. All right, so let's just save your pro file right now, and then we're going to continue with something else. Uh, so go ahead, open this file. The link is down below the description. Download that and open this file. And this time we're going to go ahead and create an alignment from object. And if you go ahead and once you open this file, and you look at this road right here, that's existing. If you look at this, this is a polyline. Let me hover, hover my mouse over it. Whoops. How come it's frozen? Okay. So if I go ahead and put my mouse over it right there, that's a polyline right there. And you want to create an alignment from that polyline. And so from a home tab, go to alignment and from the drop down menu pick up alignment uh, create alignment from object okay now once you do that you're in a command mode see again the tip of the uh, um, cursor it says select the whoops it says select the first uh, uh, end of the line so I'm gonna go ahead and this is the line you're looking for you go to this end going from west uh, to east and uh, click right at the end of right here okay and hit enter and now when you did that because we came over here we clicked from this end and we turned the computer we want to go from west to east and it's given us this arrow now the question says press enter to accept the alignment direction if you agree this is where you want to go, your station starts from zero from here and continues that way, then click enter. But if you don't like it, and hit type R for reverse. So I'm going to go ahead and click enter. And we come back to this here, which is just, we just were here in the last um, um, tutorial. And again, you can name the alignment. Let's just name it something to say a... Uh, a L B one. I don't know. That will put your own name on it. And again, the type we're just going to go ahead and use the centerline type description. You can put a description in there. Starting is going to be zero. And the design criteria is same as before. Make sure you check this one right here. And then go back to general and everything is fine. It says the default and click OK. That's it. And it created alignment uh, from the uh, 
uh, existing polyline. You just put alignment over the polyline. Because we mm, set 60 miles an hour, and we get this back again. It says, wait a minute, the uh, um, minimum radius should be 1500, but this radius is about 1033, so I'll give you a warning. Pretty good program. Okay, save the file. Okay, remember from uh, our first drawing, we made this alignment and we put a sharp curve in right here. And we had a warning that um, the uh, curve that we put into this alignment is too sharp for the design speed of 60 miles an hour. And one way to fix this um, is uh, if you uh, click on it, and then you can go ahead and grab this and manually make changes. But a better way is really, let's just click undo, bring it back where it was. Click on the alignment. And from the ribbon up here, find the alignment property. And click on alignment property. Now in here, you have information station and come back to design criteria. We're going to change the design criteria. It was 60 mile an hour. I change it to 40 and just make it 30 mile an hour. See if it fits. And click OK and it's, it's gone. Let's just go back and change it again. Come back to uh, uh, alignment property. And this time, let's make it uh, 35. See if you can fit 35 in there. 35, enter. And OK. No, 35 is even too much for here. So you can go ahead and, and once you have an alignment, sometimes you don't have a choice. That's the alignment you want to put in. And you, you can also find out what speed limit you can reduce the uh, um, for your alignment for your roadway.